let us actually quickly rename the ID of this entity data source to gender entity data source. Okay. After doing so, come back to the grid view. Right now, I'm actually going to uh, edit templates, select the edit item template, and this one is the drop down list I've added just now. I will actually choose the data source. I will select the gender entity data source. The data field to be uh, the data field that is used for displaying. Hey, how come it is not being shown? Ah, right. So I'm supposed to refresh the schema. Notice that I click the refresh schema, and the data field for display should be gender name. The data field for the value should be the gender record ID. Then if I click the OK button, right, I have already specified the drop down list. So after doing so much stuff, I'm going to uh, rebuild the solution. Come back to the browser here and I'm actually going to try refresh it. So notice that there's no error, but the drop down list can only be seen when I actually click the edit and notice that the drop down list is shown here. Now, observe one thing. I click cancel. This row, Linda, is actually showing a gender of female. But when I click edit, notice that the default selection is male, which is not right, right? It should be showing female. Okay, let me actually go for another one. Let's say Robo. Robo is actually having a gender of undisclosed. If I click edit, notice that the default selection inside the drop down list is male. So, something is still not right yet so right now we need to go and revisit we need to go and revisit the uh, we need to go and revisit this um, this design view here and we need to go and do additional work on the properties of this uh, drop down list so i'm going to click edit binding of the drop down list i need to go and specify the selected value the select because it is an entity data source Oh, no, because it is actually a custom binding for a template field, so I might actually need to. Um, maybe I will try. Can I use field binding? Notice that field binding is disabled, right? So custom binding. Right now, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try bind, and this one I'm going to uh, bind to the prospect gender record ID because this one is actually the actual gender ID value for each prospect record right so then after that I'm going to click the OK button and I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that whatever I've done is going to work right so I'm actually going to right click and view in browser and hope for the best right so I come back to the browser window here and I'm going to click edit notice that is it working? If I click this one, if I click this one, notice that the drop down list is showing a more accurate mm, default selection that is reflecting the current state of the record information. Okay? And of course, it is sortable, right? Uh, it is sortable. So this is actually, oh yes, I have not tested whether when I edit, will it be correct or not. Let us choose Robo. Robo, I know, is undisclosed. Let's just say that we found out that Robo is uh, actually a male. Then I'll click the update. Notice that it says that uh, storage of update insert delete statement affected unexpected rows. Entity must be modified or deleted since. Da -da 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 -da. Wow! I tell you, this error created a lot of uh, problem to me also. When I first um, being introduced with uh, this kind of uh, development process, the database approach using entity framework, right? This entity framework database approach methodology in developing web application. It took me quite some time. I Google here, Google there, refine my keywords, read up the threads, and learn new keywords. And finally, I found out that it is all because of a very simple issue. This grid view must know the primary key field of the prospect or else it does not know which record it needs to update. 
So this one, how, how to specify the primary key? Data, key, data, key names. Notice that right now I need to go to the source code level. So you notice that design view is design view. But if you do not really know the meaning of this markup, then game over, okay? So what is the name of that one? It's called prospect record ID. Okay, prospect record ID. So I'm going to click save here. And I'm actually going to test out again. I'm going to test out. Right, so right now, uh, of course, before testing out, uh, I'm actually going to do a refresh. So this is a refresh, and I'm going to edit Robo. As usual, this one, I'm going to select mail, and Robo, I'm just going to put uh, Robo Angry Bird. Uh, okay, whatever, right? Uh, Robo Angry Bird, and this one is uh, Angry Bird, okay? Angry Bird. So I've done a lot of changes in various places, and notice that this one, I'm going to put um, 25th of September, okay? Then after that, I'm going to click Update, and I'm going to... Hey, I've already clicked update, right? So, the next step is that I actually need to double check the database table. Right? This is the original record information of Robo. And notice that just now when I click update, there's no more error. There is no more error, okay? So, I'm going to refresh. You will notice that all the changes are successfully being reflected. Robo Angry Bird. Robo Angry Bird at yahoo.com date is and it is a meal ah and it is a meal okay so this is actually uh, quite a lengthy uh, demonstration on how to go and use um, the entity data source control together with the grid view control you have been exposed to quite a number of other controls such as label drop down list what is drop down list? Was a drop down list markup being generated just now? Let us take a look. Notice that there's a drop down list inside the edit item template. Okay? And notice that um, I hope you understand why we need to specify the selected value. There is a need. Right? Uh, what is the consequences of not specifying it? Right? You should try to investigate further on the behavior. Right? So that whenever when you hit a problem, um, slowly slowly by doing enough googling and researching you should be able to go and find the solution trust me I've went through the same process okay thank you very much and thank you for your time